Okay, we'll start. We'll start now. Oh. I, I, I mean, it's gonna look terrible, but whatever. <laughs> Hello guys and uh, welcome to the Loot Pet Invitational Season number 1. What an exciting day to be alive watching some quality EU Dota. Here on the mic myself, D Swordfish, watching Prius and uh, Prius Gaming and Team Unique. And we're here joining me, it's gonna be uh, Lizard. How you doing my man? I'm doing awesome my friend. Like we were gonna watch some CIS Dotes. Yeah. I had no clue that I'm going to cast with you, I expected Killer Pigeon. You're not Killer Pigeon, what happened? Nah, no, I'm just the Americanized version, man. I have I have his suave and his. I don't I'm not, I don't have glasses though, so I'm like upgraded, right? Ah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. actually, I like your accent a lot better. <laughs> he has that. He. I, I'm working with him a lot, and I'm already sick of his stuck-up like uh, British. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, you know. Like he pronounces words too well, and for a Slav such as me, I I'm like, can you stop it? I'm o I already feel bad about my accent. I don't need this shit with me all the time. You know? <laughs> I, get, I get you, man. We're continentals to him, right? That's what they call us. Like, we're yeah, Europe, we're, like, plebs. Mainland. we're plebs for him. Yeah, exactly, man. We're the lower caste. Well, we're, <laughs> we're, we're going to miss him this cast, but we have a beautiful draft coming in. Very exciting picks here. What, what, yeah, what, what can you tell me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, Priest Gaming, you see this. It's a Darkseer, Spirit Breaker, and then comboed as well with Grimstroke. Like, it wasn't enough filled. With the Spirit Breaker and Darkseer, they need to put in a Grimstroke there as well to Inksville the cow so that it's also stunning you when it's bashing you, when it's iron shelling you. And uh, these poor boys of Unique, they, they, they took two girls and two boys, you know, that's what they did. They went Crystal Maiden Dark Willow for their supports and then Raid King and Beastmaster for their position one and offlane. Yeah. Uh, Chesh Cheshire Cat carried quite a few games with his Beastmaster. He was just ridiculously good on him. Uh, Crystal Maiden and Dark Willow, these two supports that are like picked a lot more recently, like in the last couple of weeks, for, ever since the qualifier, Dark Willow is becoming more and more popular. Same goes for Crystal Maiden. Anti Mage now picked up yeah, one of those heroes that's a counter to Raid King. Beast can't really roar you unless he's Shadow Bladed or something. You you should always be able to spell block that. And uh, oh, yeah, they ban out the Meepo. Uh, oh, Chuppy is standing in for Unique. That's why. I didn't see Chuppy before. Someone else was playing in Unique uh, the last couple of days. But I never paid any attention, so I don't know who it was. But uh, <laughs> Top tier analysis there. <laughs> but yeah, Meepo would be really good for them. That's why they pan it out. Chuppy is a good... Is it? Yeah, Chuppy is a Meepo player, yeah, right? Meepo and Arc Warden. That's what he's known for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he would be really good versus AM. It's one of those heroes that just crush AM. Uh, like he, he can never have a game versus a good Meepo player. So it definitely does make sense that they ban that out. Is my yeah. volume, by the way, all right? Like the microphone and all that stuff. It is. No, no, I'm not I, blowing I, it. I, I hear you fine. I, I like all your right. uh, Slav voice, man. It's just working out. It's working out. Don't worry. And if it's not, you know, they're, when they see the waiting screen, they're going to realize what real the pain is. So Prius Gaming... Uh, Pick up the Pugna here up as the last pick. Okay, we, we're seeing this here sometimes nowadays, uh, especially with the Wraith King Lifestealer meta. We started seeing a bit more as kind of like a pseudo counter to these picks. Yeah, actually, usually when I see a Pugna, I see it as a counter to OD or something sure. like that, you yeah. know, in mid lane as well. So interesting that they picked it so soon without seeing what the mid is from unique you when you're drafting in usually even even these guys ah it's screen never mind everything that's normal when it comes to drafting does not count now anymore yeah 
uh, uh, for screen is uh, if he is drafting you're going to see spirit breaker you're going to see ogre undying some filthy fat tanky heroes and then everything else doesn't necessarily have to make sense but there is that one cornerstone <laughs> it's in every single draft uh, pagna isn't really picked as a i mean they did need some push yeah but yeah. usually this hero isn't picked as as a as nothing else but a counter to midders and they picked it so soon i i guess they really love the hero shitsu is playing their position too i guess so uh he is a pagna player but usually you see some linas or something similar some hero that works pretty well versus anything on mid lane when you don't have the last pick but all right maybe this can work as well we'll see i mean he puts pressure he decimates dark will and crystal maiden both very weak supports yeah. right you can take away yeah. things mana to some degree and you have the double suck suck with the grim stroke so that's pretty nice oh the double suck yeah that's, that's why that's why. That's, I mean, that's that's always a nice little thing. I, I, I agree, though. We don't see this Pugna very often, but they do have a very... Um, like, it's really good at space creating, this lineup, right? You create the space for AM, he farms. Mm -hmm. uh, Pugna's really good in the early game, then kind of delegates himself. Alchemist. Yeah, oh, on paper, I agree with you. Pugna is that hero, but I, I just like uh, Unique's draft a lot better now with yeah. this Alchemist pickup. It, it just looks much better, much stronger. Their team fight looks better. Uh, if Breeze are going to win this, they need to just roll out of control with this B spirit breaker and dark sphere and then somehow follow that all up with the pagna and like uh, the, the thing that i see from uh, unique uh, they have multiple ways of approaching these team fights their their lineup is like more dimensional when it comes to that it's easier for them to fight and uh, for priest gaming like you have this pagna blasting your tower and then dark sphere and spirit breaker just going from behind charging in that's your play and then you wait for anti mage and that's it on the other side you have beast master he he comes online fast you're just waiting for the alchemist radiance which is going to be like 12 minutes or something mm -hmm. it, unless he's crushed and then you have this raid king that's eventually going to come online with uh well, most likely very soon, fast, because he won't be going for that Radiance if Alchemist goes, right? So he'll be going for Armlet or something similar. So he'll fight much sooner, maybe Desolator even. And yeah. I don't know, I, I, I like Unique's draft a lot better, but we'll see, who knows. Maybe they just crush Pikachu to the ground. <laughs> I, I do agree that the, the it's also more meta, right? The, the unique strife, and I hate saying that, but there's a reason why these heroes are picked much more often. You have much more consistency. Yeah. It's easier to execute. Like the on paper thing we're saying is more like Prius could do this if they do a great job, but they have to execute so perfectly for their draft to work. Yeah. Prius just needs to play, honestly. Uh, you can even go for the Myas on Wraithing and still go for the Armlet des Desolator build, mm. uh, and then you have consistent farm no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th that's exactly what i thought as well you, you put it very well like if the game is played out by default i have a feeling that unique is just just uh in a better spot but we'll see you never know well i guess kicked out of the match as per usual this is a typical dance in the eu servers recently for me start the match disconnect Try to reconnect. It's gonna disconnect again, and then we'll get to reconnect. And there's some at, luck. At, le at least you, st at least you can get in. Like, what is it with Chinese casters? They get disconnected ev every single game on the load, and then everyone is in the lobby asking, uh, "Who didn't connect?" And I'm like, "We know who didn't connect." <laughs> I've had that before. And they do the check to be like polite to everyone. Like, okay, English casters, did you connect? Yes. Yeah. Russians, yes. And then suddenly, <laughs> just <laughs> and but leave them for the last, you know, check them the last. <laughs> just be nice, man. You're giving them a chance. Like, is it not you guys this time? It's not yeah, really their yeah, fault, yeah. though. It's the it's the great firewall I, of China. I mean, of course, it's not their fault, but it's still, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> we see a fight on top. What's happening? I don't know, man. I'm really not seeing. So please, radio. Are uh, you not seeing? All right, <laughs> radio, radio cast. We see a three-on-three -three action, guys. Darkseer and Bara are getting handled on that lane and they've just lost the first fight. But it seems that Screen is going to be able to steal some bounties. And even though Spirit Breaker died on level 1, Screen might be able to snatch... Oh no, Screen, he, he won't snatch even two bounties. He's only going get, to get one as they kill him off. And the Dark Willow gets a double kill. Dark Willow is, is big num, by the way, even though his nickname is LOL. And Sido is also taking a lot of damage, so Sido might be dead here too. And triple kill on the rune fight for Big Nom Dark Willow. Has 750 gold with the starting items. Life is good for this Dark Willow. 
Okay. Are you back? Are I, you back? I, I I just got disconnected again and then I reconnecting again. This is the dance. I've got used to this, man. It's just how I play yeah. Dota nowadays. All right. So uh, the solo cast continues. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah, the radio, radio cast. cast. Yeah, exactly. On top lane, we have a tri lane in which the brave Viking GG Choppy is leading the charge, leading Crystal Maiden and Dark Willow into this bold fight versus Darkseer and the Spirit Breaker. These two nasty beasts on the mid lane alchemist so far is farming well he's farming fairly well he has some last hits versus the pugna who actually has only two anti-mage has ter transformed into a terror blade right now somehow he's hacking i believe and he's destroying this lane he already has butterfly and rapier are you, <laughs> are you what are you <laughs> don't confuse our viewers with a radio cast man this is very it's very <laughs> mean man they can't see anything they're just trusting your word completely, and you're guiding them into like a pit of lies. Terrible. For all of you that were betting for F10K, <laughs> the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't do it anymore. Uh, the score is one kill for Priest and three kills for Unique. Uh, but Antimage is farming really well. And... Oh my god! It's not even it's letting me still... reconnect. Is that... I don't think we're gonna have a game, man. Dude. At this Feels point, I'm just going to go through the watch tab. I think it's easier than going through this. I, totally I mean, if you go to watch, I'll go as well. I'll just quit and come with you. That's what very else? nice of you. That's, that's appreciate what, what, that what sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to watch? Well, I'm trying to reconnect one last time. I'm giving Dota one last chance, and then hopefully this right. time. It's the patch, man. I, I My, my uh, Dota Every... can't take the battle pass. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. The battle pass is too much. There's too many cosmetics. Yeah. No, I feel you. I understand. Every time a patch comes out, my my game loses 10 FPS. So. I know it's crazy, man. And and uh, when we used to cast like South American tournaments, when there was a patch, that would be like the tournament postponed for the day because they couldn't download it in time. So it'd be like, okay, yeah. guys, no tournament today. Whatever. GG. It's been nice. I'm not there anymore. Still can't load onto Dota. Hmm. Try to open up the game in watch tab if you if you can. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do oh Oh I made it. You reconnected? I reconnected. There we go. Pog! Pause. Alright. Take it away. I'm I'm first putting the assistant camera. There we go. <laughs> Set up. Okay, people can now see this beautiful game. Oh so high resolution, so nice. Still 1080p 60 FPS guys, so you know, no complaints guys. This is high quality Dota. Alright, what is it, what happened? I'm seeing that Unique started really well this game, so... Yeah, like we kind of predicted. Well, yeah. not really. I didn't predict them to be winning these lanes this hard, this hard, but... Apparently, somehow, they're winning the lanes as well. Top lane it has been the most difficult one for, uh, for Priest, Sedoi, and Yoko haven't really done the greatest job on this top lane, and it seems the Spirit Breaker is going to die again. Oh! Oh, the Surge plays! Uh, they go for Sedoi instead. Just go kill the Darks yeah. here. Oh, but now he oh, sacrifices oh. himself for the Sedoi. Okay. Gives him a bit of space. Allows himself to die for his offlaner. It's okay. Uh, that was beautiful, I have to say. Sedoi saves him and then he suicides to, to save his buddy. Like, he returns the favor. That, that was just great. I love that. Yeah, that's real friendship right there, the team. I mean, yeah. in the end, they lost no matter what. Like, they didn't win any part of that lane, but... They, they, they love my admiration and respect for that's being such true friends. Look, that's is Screen that winning matters. your admiration right now? Because he's dying as well. There's, there's just, oh, look. Screen, screen, screen can never win my admiration. <laughs> that, that guy can never win it. He's awesome. I love him. Yeah. I, I played versus him so many games he, he, throughout his multiple uh, screen stacks. He had uh, Crystal Mage is a suicide guy. Yeah, it's okay. Don't uh, worry about it. Yeah, so it's just that I don't know. I had him in friend lists as well, and then he deleted me. So wow, you know, the betrayal. The betrayal, man. I don't even know why. I was never given a reason. <laughs> However, declining multiple invites to some random stacks, I guess that 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 can count as a reason. I'm not certain though. Maybe maybe his friend list was just full, man. Think positive. Maybe he just need yeah. more more spaces. Yeah, that, that's true. For someone that would actually... Uh, never never mind. I, I'm going to stop being a dick. Uh, he's great, and sometimes his stack wor stacks work, but usually usually they don't. I don't know, is it him or, or what's happening? But usually, like, he makes it 
quite far in some tournament and then dies like Cheshire Cat. He, 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 he got so far, but then in the, in the end it doesn't even matter. He just dies. And... Yeah. So I mean, four, almost five. They are entertaining so along the way, though. Well, we'll say. Like, it's always a pleasure watching the screen because you're, you're right. His draft, like outside the box for him, means the normal thing. So he first <laughs> thinks of the weirdest heroes, and he's like, "All oh, right, we can pick a race king." Yeah, guys, let's pick a race king. Sure, sure. Man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, what else do I want to say? Like this beast is actually level five and a half almost, while Dark Seer is oh, not even four. So, what well, do they need? Die, you know? they, they are yeah. starting to harass him hard. Damn, we can. They they just lost this bottom lane too hard, so they're trying to sal salvage it a little bit. That's what they're doing. But the problem is. You're playing an alchemist game, and you're not pressuring alchemist. You're pressuring the beast master. So, you know, it's it's usually not the way to go. It usually backfires, and this alchemist has radiance, blinks on you, destroys you. But we'll see. Pagna so far also hasn't really been able to dominate the mid lane. He has 40 CS versus 30 of alchemist. He's done well, but it's not like some amazing stats in which he crushed alchemist on the mid lane. You just can't do much. Like you, even your best bet, if you go for like a full anti alk build, like like get those decrepify just to do not yeah. it, it doesn't even do anything because he can just acid spray and he's fine. It, yeah, it's not a lane you can like completely cancel Pikachu for, and that was the best case scenario we were saying as well. If Pugna yeah. completely wins this lane, then that might be a chance for them. Now they have to find farm for this anti mage while denying the alchemist farm. They are going mid though. They have the. They have Grimstroke and Spirit Breaker hovering around mid, and uh, let's see. No, no, okay, never mind. He, them. he heard you, and he's like, "Nah, man, <laughs> Lizard just covered my plan." I'm going. There's no way they can get a kill top of them, so it's just a kind of a waste of time here. I mean, I don't know why they're wasting so much time on that mid lane then with Spirit Breaker if they aren't going to go on that Alchemist because uh, Grimstroke also came, so they they're they're pretty much wasting two supports. And not getting anything out of it. Yep. So that that's a sad life for uh, the anti mage and for the dark seer because they had no sports during that one minute. And it was also before when we saw Sadoi uh, completely alone while the spirit breaker tried to gank Cheshire Cat, which didn't work out either. So as, it counts the same, right? With just kind of a failed gank as well. Mm. A lot of lost time for the spirit breaker. Dark seer is level four right now. Uh, Cheshire Cat is level six. So yeah. considerable difference. Considerable difference, especially when you are playing versus like Darkseer should be ahead. That's the nature of the hero. If you aren't winning the lane, at least you can creep skip. I don't, I don't understand why they didn't try that. At least, like why Sedoi didn't go uh, and just creep skip because he could do that. He wouldn't pressure the Wraith King, but he didn't truly pressure him this way either. Yeah, I agree. But I don't know if he got a bit behind because he was at first dual laning was fair breaker. Didn't put enough pressure, and then he was just afraid of the Crystal Maiden Wraith King. They lost that top. Five. They lost it while you were disconnected, so they just couldn't do anything. But th this is good. They took the tier one mid very quickly, like nine minutes in. Uh, Shisui has already taken it down, and it's it's super important to take this tier one as soon as possible versus an alchemist. It opens up the jungle. You can rotate in much easier. It's very difficult for them to scout you when you're when you're hunting the Alk. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing for them. They have that one good thing out of the whole laning stage, I believe. Yeah, I mean, Unique is still winning in terms of network, but you're right. The, the the tower. It's not just that as well. I guess we're gonna be a devil's advocate here. Anti Mage is also doing pretty decent for himself. He had a mm -hmm. rough lane against Cheshire Cat in terms of, you know, Cheshire Cat got a lot of farm, but V2 yeah. is second in farm, third is Pugna, not too far ahead. But enough to say that anti mage has a bit of a head start. Yeah, they, they didn't crush the lanes, uh, definitely. Unique had decent lanes, but they didn't crush them, that's that's true. Yeah. But, like, I'm just waiting to see this Beast Master pop off together with the, with oh. the Alchemist. But we'll see. It's popped here. Look at this stun. The life drain. Oh. I think he messed the life drain target, though. He started healing oh. the Spur Perker instead, and Cheshire Cat gets away for free. Oh, this Pugna is mad. Oh. oh, God. That hurts. I know he likes sucking his strands, but not like this. He goes for the bar. I, I, he, ju he just wants to express his love towards the Spirit Breaker, that's it. So he sucks him instead. I don't know what that was. But uh, yeah, misclicks happen. Uh, he's on this bottom lane, so he will continue pressuring it and pushing it while Antimage rotates top and starts farming top lane. They're rotating their heroes around really well, really decently. 
So there's that at least. Even though that Beastmaster should have died for sure there. And now that same Beastmaster only needs one Sage's Mask and he has a full macro completed. Yeah, and that that's the problem though. You were saying how strong the Beastmaster was being in the early game. Now, this was like the gank to kind of slow him down a bit. He did waste his Primer War, but that's it. Top lane though, there's another try. Okay, no go for the Beast, go instead for Chappie. This is a potential kill for them. Chappie does use the magic wand, fights to the death, and V-Tune could be in trouble as the help from Dark Willow comes in. V-Tune dies for this kill. Chappie comes back in, happy as anyone, and takes two uh, kills for free. All right. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, exactly what Big Noob is doing right now, laughing at them, because you, if you're going for that Raid King kill, you need to make sure you click on him and check his items. And if, if they did, they would see that he had 14 stick charges. So uh, anti-mage does not matter there. Like, he is not going to burn his uh, 14 stick charges and kill him off without him having mana to ulti. And he's level 9, so that ulti is most likely going to be picked up. Very rarely do we see someone saving a point so far into the game. So, yeah, they, they mess up a little bit. A little bit unlucky as well. A little bit of an outplay by Choppy. But it's good, it's good. You know what, like, Choppy is always a good target to, to 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 gank early on. You see, he just missed two last hits for free, he didn't... He, he's he's tilted already. He, he's tilting. They ganked me, guys. I don't have ulti anymore, I'm tilted. Buy me a Shadow Blade, someone. Shadow Amulet, at least. I'm done. That's what he's saying. Jesus. <laughs> I mean... He seems to be going for our... I, I, he's being consistent. I don't know, man. I feel mean, you know? I'm competitive, he doesn't tilt. But... He's not Afonin, man. Don't, Dude, don't uh, Afonin is is definitely like something, but this guy, <laughs> this guy is next level. Trust me. Like, uh, I played 20 techie games and got like behavior score F. Every oh, single yeah. game, Chappie was with me. Every single game, he wins mid. He's like 5-0. He dies once. He sells everything. He's like my team trash. I don't want to play. <laughs> but he wins oh, mid, though. Positive side, Pikachu in the middle lane, has Chemical Rage, he can definitely fight this out, terrorize you defensively, no, they just taunted out, Pikachu has the unstable concoction, ready, screen, in trouble, up in the high ground, down he goes. I mean, he has Radiance, so... Yeah, 12 minutes in, standard timing for now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they need to... I don't know, they're to, they're, this is the problem of, of their draft, like... It's very telegraphed the way they're going to go on you. You have this charge, right, with the ink spell, and that's about it. You can react to it every time if you are unique. And so far, they've they've reacted very well. Yep. Um, they ne they need to somehow find a way to take down this alchemist. They've taken all tier ones uh, with Pagna, but the question is, what's next? Like, how do you how do you take these tier twos? How do you approach these next ob objectives? That's much harder. You just you just don't have the cash to do it, and you are right that this these telegraph plays make it much harder to play. You essentially relied on dominant and early, and especially if you catch a spirit breaker like they're doing down bottom. I mean, they should see him. They have the frostbite. There we go. Curse crown as well. He's gonna try to charge away. Curse crown will stop him halfway through. <laughs> they don't even need it. The damage is good. I love I love how I know exactly how he feels. He's just looking somewhere on the map and and spamming charge, hoping for the best. You know. Yeah. Sadly, it doesn't work out for him. It, He's going for a good, good build, buying that vessel. They will need it versus the alchemist, but I mean, if they can use it, just... yeah, yeah. He doesn't even have an urn yet. Oh, okay. mid lane, Dark Willow. Dark Willow has haste though, so she can just get away from this Pugna. Yeah. Feels bad for him as well. He he's forced to go like usually Pugnas like to go for a bit of utility if you can, but this game you have to have so much impact so early. You need to rush the Dagon after the Ethos. Yeah. And Bottom lane. Okay, this could be a kill. Yeah, pressure cap. As they probably were already. Okay, yep. Cheshire Cat goes down. Alright, that's a big that's a big step forward. But uh, this is a kill that like uh like whenever you're playing and your offlaner dies like this in a pro game, like it's understandable. Like oh. these kills are will happen. Oh, oh. Uh, is he walking uh. in? Sedoi is testing the waters there. He's like oh 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 <laughs> Nope. And he's <laughs> waiting for his up. teammates. Uh, they, they were behind, but they didn't get him. Anyway, dying like that with Beastmaster is completely normal. Yeah. You're trying to pressure them and force them to go to that lane. Because Alchemist has been farming this whole time, and now he goes for the Alch with the AM. Oh, the Brambles don't connect. Yeah, those so, groups saved V2. Yeah. 
Yeah, if Bramble's connected, Terrorize connects after he's dead for sure. By the way, the same Alchemist doesn't have Battlefield yet. It's 15 minutes, 30 seconds in. This isn't really the best timing anymore. After that, that's on the top lane. He's been slow, slowed down quite a bit. Yeah, he was doing okay in the early game, but then stopped because they just can't create space for him is the problem, right? They, they're so... They want to pressure the Alchemist, but Alchemist has uh, started farming defensively. You want to pressure the Wraith King, but we saw what happens then. And you can't pressure Cheshire Cat, because if he's not alone, he kills you. It's a difficult game, man, for Prius. You have to essentially use a lot of offensive warding, have all the vision in the world, get easy kills on Crystal Maiden, for example. But even that is impossible. Eesh. This is a yikes game, man. It's a very yikes game for AM right now, definitely. And for this whole team. Just like we predicted. How are we so good, man? Like, what's happening? We should be TI in invitees. Yeah, that's completely good. <laughs> please. Chappie. Uh, there's reincarnation here, though. So Chappie's fine. Where's the reinforcements coming in? The Alchemist joins in with the Chemical Rage. Goes for Pogna first. No time for the Crepify. Immediately decimated as... The Dark Willow herself is just alone attacking this pair breaker, playing with the shadows. One last charge gets helped with a surge, and I think he can get away here. Gets a TP off. He feels very good right now. It yeah, recovers from what just happened before. I mean, they still lost the team. Yeah, they still killed Pokemon, but if you are Yoku, you you definitely Yoki, you definitely feel good. But you're losing Yoku. now, Roshan as well. Okay. Isn't the Y a U? Uh, like. It, it it's ooh. I yeah. I speak Russian, but yeah. like I, I don't know. Yoku should be. Yeah. But they, I don't know. Honestly, um, like, you're free, man. Free to teach all these English. Like I'm not English I, myself, man. You can teach like I I actually have no no idea. Is it Yoku or Yoki? They I I heard people call him both. So oh. like. Like I, I'm just lost with it. Like I, w I was calling Af Afonin Afoninja as well. Afoninja, you know, because everyone is. But hey. his last name is Afoni, you know, like that. That's where it's coming. <laughs> yeah, that was a great story by Kips. Look in the middle lane. They're gonna try it against the Alchemist. Time. Okay, a lot of burst damage. He has the Aegis still. Terrorize disengage, and you're fine. And this was another power of uh, unique. I mean, we're talking about all these things, you know, like, oh, the Alchemist, have to get the timings, Wraithing is also very consistent, whatever. But they have so much counter-initiation, like Freezing yeah. Field, Terrorize, Reincarnation, even Primal Roar in some situations stops your attack completely. Yeah, speaking of that guy with Primal Roar, he needs, like, what, 400, 500 more, and he has Necro 3 <laughs> 18 minutes in. Oh, God. I mean, while AM is still trying to build that Yasha. You know, yeah, Chappie is charged next to, next to his shrine, though, so what's the plan, boys? What do we do next? Are the skeletons body blocking the four darks here? He couldn't get away. And he goes down, so Doi can't fight this. Next target was Screen. Screen overstays his welcome. They have another eight fire blast. They go for the other skeleton instead. Pugna first to die here. As the charge comes in, they want to take the reincarnation off Chappie. They're trying to tilt him, but it's not working. Chappie comes back stronger. Not working yet. Not Still working hasn't yet. died. Oh, wait. Pikachu wants to get the last kill here. There we go. Easy with the unstable concoction. Blink. I mean, this is just another AM game in which it's all on him already. And if you are retuned, I don't think you're feeling very confident in your AM. Like, AM can definitely win games just by split pushing and sheer uh, ace creating on his own. But in this kind of a game, like uh, 12k behind, 19 minutes in, I don't know. He needs to pull off some miracle level anti mage plays to, to be able to win this, and I don't see it happening. No. Alchemist Manta, Radiance, Blink Dagger moving towards AC. And all that with the Raid King that was building a Midas. So it's not like a Raid King that went some full uh, fighting mode. He has a Midas, he can farm. It's... Yeah, he's ready to attack. Oh, wait, Terrorize. Oh. Stop the Pogna. Okay, Built him. They're, they're trying to go for Chappie, man. They are really concentrating <laughs> on just killing off Chappie. <laughs> this is the one thing that can save the game, dude. Oh, Vityun. No, he huh? didn't have Primal Roar just yet. He just wasted his counter spell. Though. Oh, <laughs> one second for the Primal Roar. One, one yeah. second. And the blink was also wasted, so... It just came off cooldown one second earlier. Unfortunately for... Uh, for Cheshire Cat. Yep. V2 makes it off quite happily. He can start fill, uh, farming that Manta style. I mean, he's only, what, 7,000 gold behind the alchemist? Yeah, just, just, 
just, just a tiny wee little bit of 7000 it's yeah. not a lot right no man if, in due time like if you give him like what 10 20 minutes he'll he'll eventually alchemist will get six slaughter and he can't buy any more things right so. ah that's how it works yeah but but then alchemist can give those infused agonims oh, to true. everyone he can also buy moon shards now i think the game has been yeah. really buffed in favor of alchemist man oh. yeah well feels bad yep well we'll see maybe we two can pull it off I mean, they need a couple of fights and they can come back. Also, they have the wall versus the radiance, yeah. which is pretty neat. So you're, you're going to have an alchemist of your own and the beastmaster perhaps with the aura too. So you can you can have those guys fighting in your favor. The, the uh, Pugna can also like with with just because the Dagon builds nature, you can surprise and kill some of the supports, especially Dark Yeah, Pugna. and that's mm -hmm. quite important, you know. Get these pickoffs. They do have pretty good pickoff potential as well. It's just. I go back to what you mentioned, though. I think you're very right. The fact that they can only initiate with a spirit breaker makes it very obvious, and very like you can only initiate by surprise by putting on an offensive ward, and then it gets immediately dewarded because, of course, how do they get vision of you? Right? Yeah, it, it's very difficult for them to start the fight, and they want to be the ones pressuring. Instead, they're the ones hiding S4 on their high ground, while anti mage is the only one split pushing. So it's not good. Uh, they need to move out of their base instantly and devour these. Yeah, this is the smoke. With this smoke, you move out, you out, you devour your cliffs around the base. But they aren't going back. That's the problem. <laughs> They're like, all right, boys, let's go, let's do that move. But then they realize no one is showing on the map, so they can't even do it. Oh, a good rune for Cheshire Cat, but he has no necros. 15 seconds on cooldown, so he can't kill Vitian here. And he doesn't see him actually. Oh, he sees him now. Double smoke. Okay, but oh, <laughs> the Empress rune. They just yeah. revealed the smoke now, I guess, yeah. Where's... Where's the closest sentry? Is Shishokai just following after V2? Or? I think he's trying to find him because now he has Necros uh, again. He can kill anyone that he finds. Yeah. Most likely he's expecting Antimage to go farm this grief wave, but... Uh, Vtune is just running back. Uh, you never expect the Antimage to be a coward. That's the... That's the secret trick. <laughs> it's... Let's see. It's a difficult game, so I understand that Prius is playing this way uh, with the AM. I mean, they're playing essentially around him. They occasionally make him split push, but only when they see the enemy on the map. Mm. So at least they're playing defensively properly, right? This is the way. Yeah, you definitely. Recover. You can't play any other way at the moment because there's too much pressure on you. There's this Dark Willow with Yules, there's Alchemist with Blink, there's Roar, there's Blink on Great King. Any, at any given point, these heroes can initiate on you if you don't see them, so... And you, how many wars do you have on the map if you're Radiant? Zero. <laughs> like, you, you have nothing, so... You don't see anything, too. Yeah. That's 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 the biggest issue, right? You have no wars, you have no... Like, yeah, what? You, you can't. You can't get out of the base yeah. to put the wards down, though. Like, so it's... Yeah. You're just locked right now. Mm. You also know that, obviously, uh... Right now, Dyer is going to prioritize this this triangle over here. Make sure mm. that nobody can get onto it. And that's like really important. That's the one place where you can kind of fight if you can take it over as Radiant. But it's yeah. just not going to happen. They're not going to let you it do would, it. It would be so good for them to take that over. Yeah. But even if they do, I think they lose the fight on the Shrine. Oh, okay. At the moment, at least. Maybe when... Oh, yeah. Spell, spell block and he's out. Oh, Bedlam just to push. Yeah, I'll let V2 get away. Right. Yeah. That was a bit hopeful of a play, oh, Chappie going late. for the race Shisui. Oh god. He's peaked to completely alone, and they can't really... Okay, yeah. Well, why... You can't gank him, man. He's god right now. Can't even let you TP away. That was a I bit mean, of a hopeful TP, though. Yeah. The, uh, they, they were the ones going on him. Like, oh, Shisui really? went so outside. Yeah, they tried to go on him. Spirit Breaker was charging, too, and then... They just realized, alright, this guy has AC and Manta, guys. What's the plan? <laughs> we can't really take him down. Yeah, Pikachu's kind of god. I think they just reconfirmed this though for, for this team. Um, Unique now knows that Pikachu can't be stopped, especially if he has the ultimate. Waiting 20 seconds for the next bout of ultimate. Unstable concoction quite powerful as well. Keep pushing that out. Just punching the poor Darkseer to death. And Darkseer gets punched to death. There we go. Another <laughs> death. Giving Sedoi the buyback immediately. They keep on pushing. Double silence. This could be the counter initiation well, perhaps. Pikachu ball. has the chemical rage ready so he can fight this right now. And they go, Raytheon trying to kill Pugna first, Shisui, oh nice, the Mana Void actually works really nicely, destroying Pikachu, and now turn this around on Chappie, but he has the Magic Wand, so that's probably going to be a reincarnation triggered of anything, Vtune, looking for the next kill, being the Crystal Maiden, 
Seems possible. There's nowhere for her to go. She can try to TP. It's a bit difficult because they can just charge at her. And she just cry and creates some space at this point. Create some space. They lost their Alc. They lost the Dark Willow. That Mana Void yeah, meant a lot. Yeah, and that's a lot of gold going for the AM too. Like, he has 5k gold off of that fight, so... I mean, let's see. Show fights recap. Okay, he got 1400. He had some in stash, but... Uh, a really good fight for them. They executed it very well. Uh, Unique also overstayed their welcome a little bit. Um, Alchemist lost his ulti, then uh, uh, Antimage just broke all of his mana, took all of his mana, plus the wall from the Darks here was on spot. Grimstroke's ulti was good as well, so they executed it really well and they struck. They, yeah, they're, they're not back, they're 20k behind, but it's definitely a step in the right direction, right? I mean, it's only seven, it's still 7k difference between the Alchemist and the, and the Alchemist. But it starts to become less and less, or like, not as important to, you know, be 7 k As the game progresses yeah. and you get more items, it's relatively less, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and they're, they're smoking up right now and trying to fight, but as you just mentioned, like, that 7 k uh, in that last fight wasn't utilized by the Alchemist. This time it is, like, he has a BKB now as well. So it, it changes a little bit. Vitun did finish Skadi, and now we'll we'll we're pretty much gonna see who's who's stronger with these new two items. Well, that's a nice counter spell, stopping the Rage King, and they wanna go for Crystal Maiden first. Stop one of the supports. There's the easiest kills right now. Pikachu comes in. The counter spells was wasted there, which means they can now stop the anti mage perma stun him forever. They just need to get enough damage. Even the Cupify, they managed to kill him off, and that's the kill they wanted. They don't care about the rest of the team. Kill the AM, win the game. Mm. It looks like the BKB was the more important item. And the Arcs here. Yeah, my I think dear Arcs here. Goodbye. I mean, they get it. I will say that as well that the counter spell there, so he used it at first to counter Wraith Fire Blast. Then he used it a second time, thinking there was going to spells coming out. But he got hit by Concoction right after. And the Primal yeah. Roar as well. So, a bit of a. I mean, I, I don't want to call it misplay because it's really hard to play to make anyway, but. You could have sent There's back so the much enemy. stuff. There's so much stuff, and he's the one leading the charge as well. Maybe if he wasn't, then then it's different. He can think about who he'll jump on, right? But he was the one up front, and he just got controlled instantly. Yeah. I feel like that's why 4 protect 1 lineups like this one don't get played as often. Because you just, yeah. there's so much pressure on you as a hero to do everything perfectly, and if you mess up even slightly, that's your game. Yeah, and especially anti-mage. Yeah. Right now, 4 protect 1 with anti-mage is just so difficult to play. That hero dies once or twice and his game is over. Okay, this is the last attempt here by Prius. There they go. Try to kill the Wraith King first. But, nope. <laughs> Poor Yoku can't do anything here. Oh! That she doesn't get killed off though. She should cut his concentrating on the Pugna instead. Murdering him in the back lines, letting Yoku live as a sign of just respect, I suppose. <laughs> sign of respect. You're crazy. I like you. You charged in. I'll let you live. But there's a charge again, v is up, Cheshire Cat might not be so lucky anymore. No, no, he's gonna go he down falls. one. That's yeah. good. That's a killing spree that's given away to Antimage once again, so... Uh, they didn't lose this bottom lane as well, they only lost the Raxes. The, the tower that is, sorry. The blink plus oh, no. stable though is so powerful. Oh, no. The amount of catch they have is just ridiculous. Chappy has a Crasher as well. Oh, <laughs> oh that's great, oh that's great. That's like, oh, hello there, bam, sit yeah. down. There, there's, there's your respect, man. It's completely gone. No. No. Feels bad. That's Aegis now in cheese, which probably will not be contested. Nah, you can't contest it. It's already gone. Yeah, yep. let's see. Aegis done, picked up a Pikachu, at least the cheese. I don't know if that's a sign of like... Oh, no, I was going to say the sign of manliness, like, we don't need the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we don't eat cheese, we're lactose intolerant, leave it. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen so many teams forget about cheese, actually, it's it's stupid. Like, they just leave it in. Heat of the moment or something, I guess. I have seen a lot of teams um, leave the ags in the refresher. Oh, Particularly no. the, the ags a lot, and then they just forget about it, and they go back into the pit like, oh, free ags, and then you just give it ags <laughs> support. It's like when you forget cash in your pocket or somewhere. Yes. Exactly. Or you hide, you hide the money, you know, and then you hide it so well, you forget about it. And yep. then you find it after a year and yeah. you're like, oh my god, 10 bucks? That is the best way of saving money, I tell you. Just hide it somewhere so you can't spend it like an idiot. 
Yeah. And then, and then when, I agree, when you find it, it's better than Christmas. And you know who has Christmas as well? Choppy, as he just got the free agonims. What a segue, man. That was some point. Yeah. <laughs> find Yoku with that axe. Let's see how that works. I don't think the Alchemist is going to survive this way. It just already gets used. Chappy trying to kill Yoku before he dies. Those illusions making it difficult. Freezing Field now to zone the enemy team out. Though Pikachu is back. And with a vengeance, it, that's the BKB used. Go push his three first. He has another Decapify to save himself, so he's down. And this comes a bit late. That Mana Void won't do too much. And Yoku charging it again like a madman. I think he is just dropping. Okay, that's a tribute. <laughs> that's a tribute. That's a, D that's a GG, and that's an abandon. <laughs> yep. There we go, Insta Disconnect, not waiting for the throne to fall. I mean, they just got handled super hard. 42k ahead, unique at the end of this game. Uh, picking Pogna like that just leaves your draft open for, for, for something like an alchemist. It's like There's a reason why you pick something that's really strong on that mid lane. Uh, if you don't have the last pick, even fourth pick, then just fourth pick some lean or, or I don't know. This strategy, in all honesty, if it's Raid King instead of Anti Mage, I'd like it more because you'd have that constant pressure, yeah. right? Like, you wouldn't have to play as four. Like, after the tier ones fell by Shisui, he, he was just lost on the map. Nothing else to do. Like, he's just done, and that's it. And they just took over control and won it easily. Yeah, I agree. I think the I mean, it sounds stupid, but the, a care with a stun, any care with a stun with kill potential because that stun works better with Pugna for that very reason. Because you have that potential to just, you know, actually get pickoffs and pressure the enemy. Whereas Pugna, yes, you can pressure the towers like you mentioned, but if the enemy team doesn't come contest you and they just ignore you, then that's it. That's that's your early game done. Okay, great. You push the tower. Congratulations. What do you do now? You can't smoke and kill people easily. So, it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm a big fan of the Pogna pick. I think the AM maybe wasn't what was working here. I, I just I want to see my little skeleton back in games. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the hero too. This little fast skelly boy that blows me up in my pubs. I love it. I know, man. He he's the real like Dota player hero because he, he the purpose of Pogna is not to actually make you have a nice game. It's to make the opponents cry, and that's what a real Dota player wants, right? Like, Wait, why don't you play techies then? Just just pick techies. No, because techies makes my team cry, not the opponents. Ah. Yeah. It makes everyone cry, but you. Everyone Actually, hates you. The most efficient way to create misery. That's pretty. That's pretty true, man. All right. Well, after this uh, great tangent at the end, we will uh, say goodbye to this game number one. Waiting for game number two between Prius and Unique. So enjoy some tunes while we wait for this second game to go. Remember, this tournament is sponsored by Loopet. So do go check those guys out. You want to make some bets? Some bets. Sorry. Win some, some money. Bets. <laughs> you want to make some bets? Win some money. It's time to go to Loopet. And, and make that rain fall or the cash fall on you. <sighs> Alright. Good, goodbye, guys.
Thank you.